Wow. I really think you're nuts. Let's go down here. A few minutes later. Have we arrived? No. Okay, we'll try this way. Yeah, there is another way right at the back. And here we are, Nurse Grendel's ward. Good afternoon, Doctor. Oh, hi. Is this Ward J2? Yes, sir. The patients are ready for your inspection, Doctor. Uh, thank you, Nurse. Well, who's first? Monsieur Croquet in bed two. What's his problem? He's been complaining of loss of consciousness. You'll need this, Doctor. She gave me a long, narrow metal box and a stunning smile. Thanks. And what's going to happen next? Hi, I'm Dr. Stobart. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. The nurse told me you keep losing consciousness. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I've had the problem as long as I can remember. It's a real out-of-body experience. <laughs> like death, but not so conclusive. I see. How long does it last? Just a fraction of a second, <laughs> and then I recover. I might not have been a doctor, but I was formulating a diagnosis wow. all the same. What's the result? This guy was nuts. I know exactly what you mean. It's known in the medical field as blinking. Is it serious? Of course it isn't serious. It's perfectly natural. But just think. Two seconds every minute. Why? <laughs> That's almost half an hour every day. Two weeks out of every year spent in total darkness. I don't have time to listen to this baloney. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, goodbye and good luck. Thanks, Doc. Okay. I actually need to do something else now before we continue this. We need to go back to the entrance. Yes, I actually need to go back to the entrance. I've now, I'm now able to do the next part. But first, need now to go this way. Come on, George, pick up the pace. Wait, wait, wait. Just realized I go the right way or did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way. What else is new? George, go that way. That's the way you're supposed to go. Darn it, what is with this hospital? This is one weird place. Okay, now that we're here, we want to talk to this gentleman. Excuse me, sir. You must be the new boy. Uh, yeah, I must be. Well, uh, stop wandering about and make yourself useful. You have another to doctor me. wondering Come about. Oh, you're talking this to him. Benoit, my nephew. Can I trust you to look after him? Do your own babysitting, Gramps. Who do you think you are, anyhow? I am Felix Hagenmeyer. And may I say what an honor it is to meet you in person, sir. You are on my medical wall of fame. Right up there with Pasteur and Leary. 
I look on it as a privilege, no, an honor, to look after your nephew, sir. George he is fresh out of medical What school. the heck was that? It will open his eyes to see a real doctor on the job. I'll bet. Show him. Uh, well. Some real suffering. One thing about this, uh. So long, Hagenmeyer. Well, uh, I'm not really sure how to say this, but we're kind of a fake. I mean, it's kind of obvious we're fake. Yet, for some reason, George is able to do a lot of tricking. It's rather scary the amount of times he tricks people. I mean, for heaven's sake, what is with this guy? Right, we're on the ward. Somehow straight away. Rather surprising we got here without going through the other corridor. Guess cause we got an escort. Uh, could you take a look at the client in bed number three now? His name is Eric Sopmarsh. What's his problem? He's delirious. He just now came out of theatre. He's recovering from major surgery. I'll have him up and about before you can say, Lazarus, get out of your bed and walk. What the heck? George, you're weird. Hello, anybody home? Who are you? My name is Dr. Stobart, and I'm here to steer you down the rocky road to recovery. Dr. Monroe said there was no cure for what I've got. Your problem is you stayed in bed too long. Are you sure you're a qualified doctor? Oh. You better believe it. That's a little awkward. What can you tell me about Marquet? He's the man in the private room, isn't he? That room was mine before I was tossed out like a common squatter. Do you know what's wrong with Marquet? They won't even say what's wrong with me. Tell me, Doctor, what's your opinion? Uh, it's too early to say. But I've been here for three months. See you later. Right. Well, I do this on him. Hi, me again. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Why? I'm a doctor. It's my job. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Why? I'm a doctor. It's my job. Huh. See you later. Is that all he says, really? Okay, so let's go over here a second. I gotta try and trigger this. Doctor! What is it? You haven't taken my blood pressure. Oh boy, you've actually got to move a bit away to do this. And the room you saw there is the room where McKay is. And... Seems fine to me. You're not doing it right. Of course I am. No, you're not. Dr. Monroe never did it like that. I can't take a satisfactory reading while you're excited like this. I'll come back later. Right, now what we want to do is get this and give it to this guy. Hey, Benoit. This is what we gotta do for this. 
Give it to this guy. There's no need to shout. What do you want? Here, take this pressure gauge. Thank you, sir. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? Well, uh, keep it safe until I think of something. Now we talk to him. Hey, Benoit. Yes, sir. And now. Are you ready with that pressure gauge? Primed and ready to pump, sir. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? Use it on Eric's sop marsh. Okay. So while he's doing that, I, in all my very cold and useless way, because I'm a con artist, seriously, George, you're a con artist, we go in here. Rather you than me, pal. Why does that guy look exactly the same as um, the sergeant at the police station? Just with a totally different voice actor. No, seriously. That was a... I couldn't believe that. So this is Marquet. This is what we got to do now. Trying to get some answers. Marquet? Yes. I am Marquet. I've been expecting... He's been around the days. Have? Well, what are you waiting for? Get it over with. I just want to know what I should do with the gem. The Lachmar gem? Yeah, right here in my pocket. Thought you were one of the assassin. What <laughs> the heck does that mean? Not me. I never inhaled. So you will send in my place? Uh, yeah. You, you could hardly make the trip to Ireland in your condition. What should I do with the gem? Deliver it to the Grandmaster quickly. The who? Him that I have found the tripod <laughs> right here in Paris. What, you have it? Not yet, but it's been taken care of. I hired a couple of stooges with a flair for petty crime. Would that be Flap and Guido by any chance? You? No, Zeb. We've met. What about the Hashashin? Uh, he's more likely to have followed Klausner. He'll stop at nothing to prevent the reforging of the sword. And that's bad, is it? As for Klausner... He's gone off to Syria on a wild goose chase. They have geese in Syria? There is a lot of weirdness going on here. As a theory about... Who the heck is this now? That's enough excitement for one day, Monsieur Marquet. What are you doing here? Talking to this patient, of course. Monsieur Marquet is my patient. If Herr Hagenmeier was to hear that... Okay, I'm going. I'd learned all I could from Marquet anyhow. Yeah, a lot of stuff that doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, what the heck was that about? I mean, that's a lot of information that seriously is confusing. And names that we've never even heard yet. We really need more answers. Ah, here's Bunny. 
Ah, oh, there you are, sir. I was just coming to look for you. I finished with your pressure gauge. We get it back. Thanks, Bunny. What's that noise? It sounds as if someone's having a cardiac arrest. Uh oh. It's all right. The doctor's in there with him. Wait, what's going on? Oh, flip. This is bad. Oh, dear. This is not good. Could it be we weren't the only imposter here? Are you sure he was a doctor? Oui, monsieur. He showed me his ID. It was Dr. Braille. There's no Dr. Braille working here. He's an imposter. Just like us. The door's locked. Help me, officer. Oh, Barry, this is bad. Marquet is being tortured to death. Uh-oh. He's barely living. Officer, would you kindly break open this door for us? Oh, there it is. Stand back, monsieur. He's basically dead. Oh, that was an easy way. And basically, Marquet is now dead. He's dead, and the killers jumped out the window. Wow, that was awkward! Yep, Marquet is dead. Not quite what we wanted, was it? Back in Nico's apartment, yet again. I found Jacques Marquet. Did he talk? Yeah, he talked. For the very last time. He's dead. Yeah, killed in cold blood by a bogus doctor. That's despicable. What kind of guy would pass himself off as a doctor and take advantage of a dying man? Um... Was it Khan? No, I don't know who he was, but it certainly wasn't Khan. He got away, out the window. Oh, for heaven's sake, this is bad. Have you found out any more about the Knights Templar? Yes, I have. The guy responsible for the downfall was Philippe IV, the King of France. Otherwise known as Philippe le Bel. Well, he is known to history as Philippe the Fair. But I doubt if the Templars called him that. I'm sure André will tell you all about him. Fair enough. Do you think the assassin was responsible for killing Marquet? I don't think so. He could have finished him off the first time. Besides, Marquet would have recognized him. He was pumped to the gills with sedatives. He wouldn't have recognized the four horsemen of the apocalypse unless they'd introduced themselves. Wow, okay. Have you ever heard of the Hashi Ashin? No. Marquet said that they were his biggest enemy. His biggest enemy was the bogus doctor. Don't remind me. That guy was evil. He had wild, staring eyes like a dead fish. I'll never trust a doctor again. I guess I'd better go back and talk to that weirdo. Which one? Rosso or Sergeant Moo? Oh, but you're referring to Andre. I'll let you work it out. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, of all the people on that list, I would say... Be honest. Uh... Sergeant Moo, I think, has more sense. Rosso is... I don't know what's up with him. As for Andre, he's just plain stupid. Anyway, guys, that is all for this session of uh, Broken Sword. I will see you guys next video. So, see you guys then.